A special visit today by a man representing the new Ronald Reagan Museum in California. He's looking for a historical connection to a presidential shrine, and he says he may have found it right here in Kansas. You're looking at a virtual tour of the new Ronald Reagan Museum in California. It includes the presidential motorcade, Marine One, and perhaps this Kansas 707 flight simulator. He used that aircraft more than any of the other pre presidents that used it. That's why Robert David quickly flew to Wichita from California. He's looking for a 707 cockpit that could be turned into Air Force One. This is significant and, and uh, I, I wanted to come here immediately to find out if this could work for us. They knew that this was a distinct serial number and it was designed to train pilots on the Boeing 707, which represented America's first commercial jetliner. Its significance goes beyond being part of the Reagan Presidential Library. This simulator was Boeing's first, serial number 0001. Found it underneath a, uh, a tarp in the middle of an old uh, salvage yard. When Steve discovered the 707 simulator in a surplus yard in Kansas, they knew they had stumbled, stumbled on something really cool. What they found is this 707 flight simulator. Six years later, it's repainted and soon to be on its way to Simi Valley, California. Through almost eight years of tireless effort, Steve, along with Justin Kelly of Kelly Manufacturing, steadfastly worked to restore the flight simulator for its ultimate destination here at the library. Upon leaving office, President Reagan stated that one day he hoped that he'd be able to share Air Force One with the American people by placing it in his presidential library. Everybody, everyone that I've mentioned to it, it to has been very excited about it. We're uh, we're making it interactive. That's the uh, that's going to be the beauty of it. It's going to be able to be reborn again. Added technology will give new generations a chance to fly Air Force One and pilot a president around the world. When the teachers and the instructors are all finished with the scenarios that the kids have just gone through, the wall will open up and allow the kids to enter the Air Force One simulator. Uh, they will sit in here and watch a video tape of them having gone through this experience. They'll actually fly the plane based on like Microsoft Flight Simulator. Soon, here at our Air Force One Discovery Center, which will be right behind those two doors in about six months' time, students will be able to capture the dream of flying the president, to relive historical moments, and to soar to even greater heights. Now the Reading Library, you can play the role of the President of the United States or the role of the President of the House in this Air Force One simulator that you'll be seeing shortly. We live in a country where anything is possible, so why not a defecator as President? The idea would be for visitors to sit here, take hold of the controls, and see what it was like landing the most powerful man in the world. We want you to be able to feel and see what it's like climbing to the cockpit of the Air Force One, to fly around the world to meet with important diplomats and world leaders. And now anyone can fly Air Force One thanks to a Kansas donation.